Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Dave from MyGunValues.com. Today I thought we'd do a little side-by-side -side comparison. For identification purposes, it just so happens I have both varieties of this rifle here right now. So I thought I'd show you the difference and explain why the value is what it is. We have two identical, almost, Marlin Model 60 SBs, stainless barrel. Um, stainless action, wood stock. Now if you look closely, you notice this one's not checkered. This one is checkered. Okay? Marlin made the, the plain stock only, and I believe it was 1988. It's a one-year production. If this stock and if this gun were in as good a shape as this gun is, then this gun would actually be worth more because this gun was made from 1983 to, or 1989 to uh, somewhere in the early 2000s, I believe. Um, so it's something that I wanted to bring up as, a, as just a comparison there so you can see the difference in the two guns. You'll see these are actually both sold. Um, so I wanted to do a video on them before they go down the road just to show you that um, you know they are the same gun other than that checkering but even though the checkering would usually make the value worth more in this case assuming equal condition the plain stocks worth more but I went ahead and loaded up the tube before we came on so I wanted to I didn't want you to have to sit there and watch that Let's see if we can, what we can do with this thing. So I'm sitting there ringing the gong in 100 yards. See what I can do with some clays here. And we're empty just that quick I, I don't know how well that showed up clay on the far left it put a hole in it one of the problems with using clays is uh, targets is 22s don't always break them sometimes they do but sometimes they don't <laughs> um, it was this gun when I got it it had been very very badly neglected um, it took me about half a can of brake free and I had to tear it down and, and just degunk the insides because it was it was just a gunked up mess. Yep, there we go. They both have 19 inch barrels. They both have you know what we refer to as pistol grip stocks. I mentioned it before, but you know this might be the first time somebody's seeing one of my videos. And, you know, if it's, if it's a full pistol grip stock, then it's going to be have something down here like an AR. I just, I keep harping on it because one of the reasons we do these videos, obviously it's to promote the website because we've put 10 years into keeping these values accurate for you folks. But it's also to address issues on the website where people have questions. And, uh, you know... I know I have a face fit for radio, and I, I've been accused of looking like the undead. Okay, so be it. <laughs> I'm a Christian, so I don't believe in the undead, but <laughs> we'll go from there. Um, you know, we all, we're, we're, we're born the way we are, so it's just my job to do the best I can do. Let's see what we can do with this thing. I'm only going to shoot this one. This one I haven't sighted in yet, and so they're, they're the same gun. I just wanted to demonstrate. Let's see if we can bust some water. There we go. Oh, pulled that one. There we go. Now let's see if we can finish off that clay. Another hole in it. There we go. Yep, we're empty. 
you know, out to, out to 75 yards. These are great, accurate little guns. Uh, the first 22 I ever owned was one of these. You know, they, they've been around since I believe the 60s. I believe was the origin origination of the six, Model 60. Obviously, it wasn't stainless back then, but um, you know, one of the things you don't want to do with these, you don't want to store them with rounds in the tube. These little tube feed springs are not the most robust thing on the planet. It's not too likely you're going to go grab a 22 for self-defense, unless you're worried about that charging ground squirrel. You know, or that, that rabbit breaking into your house in the middle of the night, you're probably not going to be using this for self defense. So I would not keep it loaded. Let's see if we can finish off the rest of these clays. Oh, in case you're wondering, to close the action, there's a little lever right here. It's got a last shot hold open. It holds open and then I rock that back to close the action. Then you still have to pull it back to chamber it. It has to go through a complete cycle to pick up a fresh round. There we go, last shot hit the hit the gong. I'll take that. Like I said, both of these are actually sold to the same person. Uh, they bought them as his and hers plinking rifles to go shooting together. They figure if they have the same type of rifle, then they'll be all set. You know, again, as always, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you find these videos informative. If there's something you'd like to see, Please don't hesitate to post a comment here or you can contact us through the mygunvalues.com uh, webpage and just click on the contact us form. Da -da, contact us form. I'll say it good in a minute. You know, I did learn English as a first language, so you folks have a good day and thanks for watching.